Hey everybody, welcome back to Princess Friend. I am your host, Princess Friend. Was Prince Black? There's been some discussion in the comments of my channel as to Prince's actual race. If you want to stay in the loop, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you are notified directly whenever we put out a new video. And the question has come up, is Prince Black? It's an interesting question, and the answer is yes. Thank you to you, those of you who actually- Wait a minute, the answer is much more complex than that. Was Prince Black is a silly question. The obvious answer is yes. He was a strong, proud black man, especially later in his career when he teamed up with Black Lives Matter and wrote several songs directed at the subject of race and what it was like to be a black person in America. Examples of these kinds of songs would be Dreamer from Lotus Flower. And Mars from Plectrum Electrum. Early in his career, however, he purposefully sought to obscure his actual heritage. In his song Controversy, he actually put that into a song. People like to wonder whether he was black or he was white, whether he was straight or gay, and he played into these mysteries for a very long time. And a lot of it was for shock value. But as soon as the smoke cleared and the fog of fame decided to leave him, he realized that he was left with a social awareness that not many others had. Prince also sang of a perfect utopia where it didn't matter what you were or what hair you had or the color of your skin, what language you spoke, anything like that, that put into a lot of people's minds that Prince was all colors or even worse, that he was no colors, which of course brings up the idea of color blindness, which I've discussed before, is a terrible, terrible thing and nobody wants color blindness. The idea behind color blindness is that you don't see someone's color, but people of color want you to see our color. We want to celebrate our differences, not try and hide them or pretend that they're gone. So of course, in one of my recent videos, I posted the possibility of Bruno Mars playing Prince in a movie. And I said this. Uh, also, the fact that he is not a black man seems to be an odd choice to not pick somebody who's black to play um, a, a, a person who was, you know, obviously black, but also sang about race and all of these different things. And you, you can't necessarily accurately portray that if you were to cast somebody who doesn't fit that qualification. And the backlash that I got for the mere suggestion that race be a consideration when choosing the right person to play Prince in a movie that may or may not happen was staggering. I don't even want them to necessarily do the movie, but if they do, I think that the race of the person playing Prince is an important thing to consider. My official stance is, I'd like the actor to look like him, but it's not really necessary. That can mean whatever you want it to mean. But for me, as long as the actor does a good job and doesn't look so different as to destroy my suspension of disbelief that I'm already gonna have going into a movie like this, you know, like, I'd be okay with it. But here are two actual conversations that I've had recently, within the last month or so, with commenters in my comments. Prince was a black man. Yeah but he was of actually mixed race. No, he's Creole and thus black. Yeah, but you realize that Creole is a mix of black and French and French is primarily white, right? This is a dumb argument, I'm unsubscribing. Prince wasn't black. Um, yeah he was. His mom was white and his dad was black, which means he's not just black. Yeah, not just black, but definitely, yes, he was black. He was mulatto. Please don't use the term mulatto. Most of us mixed race people prefer to be just called mixed race. Mulatto carries a lot of historical racism with it. Then what would you call it, dumbass? I'm unsubscribing. So let me say this out there. I love my subscribers. I love all of you. You're amazing people. I'm here out of my love of Prince and his legacy and the love of the community that we have built here. But if you don't like my opinions or the videos that I do, then yeah, 
you probably shouldn't be a subscriber here. It's not like it's something you're holding over my head like, oh, oh, it's a subscriber. You sure you want to say that? It's like, yeah, I'm going to say whatever I'm going to say. And hopefully the majority of you will stick around. Because honestly, if you don't like what I say or the types of videos that I do, that's what you're going to get here if you stick around. And those of you who have been around for a while know that I don't mince words. I don't hold back. It's one of my most admirable traits, right? But racial identity is kind of a weird thing. If you take me, for instance, I have some Scottish, some Puerto Rican, I have some black, a couple of other things in my ethnic heritage, but to me, I'm black. Now my brother, who is the exact same genetic makeup of me, same mother, same father, he's Latino. And that's cool, because that's the part of our culture that he most identifies with, whereas I am black. I'm of course told that I'm not black because I, I'm not hood enough, or I speak well, or because I'm slightly effeminate and no black man should dare be anything other than 100% stereotypically manly at every given moment. But that's the thing. Is race what we identify ourselves as, or is race what the world sees us as? And I think that it's a mix of the two. Prince was black. I mean, he like, definitely was. But the fact that he was light-skinned allowed him to be palatable to most white audiences, which was obviously a way for him to sell more records and become as big as he did. Hip Hop DX actually did an amazing job when they did a video about why the Beastie Boys were as important to hip hop as any of the other grandfathers of hip hop. And yes, a lot of that had to do with white privilege and the fact that they were able to get rap into areas that if you were darker skin, you would not have been there. And I believe that Prince purposefully played up the fact that you don't know what I am, maybe I'm black. And he, of course he wasn't gonna come out and say I'm black because there was a time in his career where that was enough to get you to not sell records and to not be able to get a platform to preach your messages. And you'll notice that as soon as he started to play more bluesy, more black music, that his white audiences kind of ran away. I mean, at least in the US, Europe still loved him because Europe, of course, is not really attached to a lot of the same racism that is born and bred here in America. But everybody sees things through their own lens. So if you ask one friend, they'll say Prince's race doesn't matter. And if you ask another friend, they'll say Prince's race mattered a lot. But I'm honestly tired of debating this. And this has come up in the comments, not just in the last video, but for a few months now. For some reason, Prince's race has been being brought into the conversation and questioned by the community. So I really wanted to put out kind of a real video about it and kind of give you my thoughts. And of course, some of it's rambling, but that's how I do. But I believe Prince represented all people. I believe in that. He talked about the utopia. He talked about the rainbow children. Everybody should be together. But we cannot deny the central underlying fact that he was a black man in America who fought for black rights and single-handedly made sure that hundreds of black children led better lives with the money that he contributed to charities and the organizations that he supported and associated with. But if we forget that Prince was black, then we'd be erasing a piece of his identity. And who Prince was is why we loved him, why his words had impact, and why his legacy will endure to the end of time. Let's respect every aspect of Prince, including the color of his skin. Thank you. Now that was a little long and ranty, but I would love to continue the discussion. Let's go ahead and discuss it down in the comments in a respectful way, and I wanna know your thoughts. We also did get one additional patron since the last video that I recorded. His name's JD Washington. You are now added to the wall of gratitude. Thank you so much. We're also having that Patreon drive that's going through the middle of October. Everybody who becomes a patron will receive a Princess Friend button, so I'm very excited about that. Also, don't forget to follow me on both Instagram and Twitter, where I share different things in different places, you know. And as always, may you live to see the dawn, and I love you all.
Thank you to you, those of you who actually watch the end of the video things here. On that side are links to the Patreon and to the to subscribe. And below me is the latest video that we've done, as well as one that is picked special for you. Because you're a special, special snowflake and we love you. Thanks for sticking around.